Yo, what is going on guys? Drake here with Semi-Lock Phones official YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be showing you guys some iOS 11 tips and tricks. You have the latest iOS version then any tips that you guys see in this video you can be able to apply to yourself. Now some of you guys might not know about these, some of you guys may know about these already but these are just going to go over them so let's get right into it. So to begin, uh, for the first tip just go to your settings here and go down to control center and the control center, if you guys don't know, is this area when you swipe up, then this will come up. Um, and you can actually customize basically everything that's here. So you can click customize controls here. Now here you can find yourself adding and removing as many as you want. So for example, say um, I don't need my notes and the timer here. And we want to add some other stuff that's a little bit more productive for us, such as the stopwatch and maybe the wallet so you don't have to scroll over and click wallet so now instead of the ones that we just had a chance to see the bottom two right ones are the new ones now you can also move what order you want these in so if i want screen recording to be the very first square as you guys can see it's right there if i want it to be the very last square we'll drag it down so as i can see that's just a very quick and easy way to uh switch around the controls and switch how you guys want things to look so that it fits your needs so that's the first tip and the next tip here is again right in the settings um, and this is to invert the colors if you want things to get a little bit darker so click general accessibility display accommodations and click invert colors now if you invert the colors as you can see everything just got dark and this is good for if you're at nighttime or you just want to save some battery by not powering as many black pixels if you have um, an OLED iPhone such as the iPhone X and yeah it's just really cool that you can do this and not have to worry about um, having to you know do any types of crazy things to change it back it's just a quick one two thing and that is why it was on this list all right guys and the next step here is to use 3d touch without actually having an iphone or ios device that has 3d touch now i'm currently on the iphone 8 and this does have 3d touch however if you're on like the iphone 6 um, where it doesn't have that then you can still do this tip so basically you can still 3d touch things but only in the control center so for example if i want to 3d touch the flashlight i'm just going to slow press it i'm not going to hold it as i can see it comes up so that's like just something really cool that you can uh, mess with and do to your own liking and yeah it's just really cool that you can just long press it and it will give it basically the same um, pressure as 3d touch and automatically just does it so yeah, that was number three on this list. All right, guys, the next tip here is to type with Siri. So sometimes Siri does have some voice recognition issues, or if you're in a loud room or something and you just can't um, talk to Siri and she can't understand you, then sometimes you might just need to type to Siri. And this still is quicker than, you know, Googling something on your phone. So once you're in here, go to uh, General Accessibility again. Now go to Siri. And now click Type to Siri. So now when we open up Siri, we now have a keyboard. So now we can say score of Bulls game. Which Bulls? Chicago. The Bulls after the Hawks fire. So it's not as quick as saying, hey Siri, what was the score of the Bulls game last night? But However, if you are not able to talk it out or your microphone's not working, you can always type to Siri. And alright guys, the fourth tip for today's video is to make live photos look better. So if you have a photo that you want to edit, you can do that. Just click edit in the top right corner here. And now you can move this little thing over and this is what will make it the key photo. So the key photo is basically the main picture that you see before you hold. So say if, I mean obviously this picture doesn't change too much except for that guy looking. So maybe if we want his face to be turned for some reason, just click make key photo, click done, and that's the new photo. Quick and easy, but if you get a picture that doesn't quite look right regularly, you can edit it to get the best key photo there is. And alright guys, the final tip for you guys in today's video is to mess around with some stuff in your settings to get some more storage. So new in iOS 11 is the ability to delete storage uh, straight from the Apple ID suggestions and it will give you some really cool things that can mess with your storage it also gives you notifications now if you back up so iOS is trying to be a little bit more smart and interactive with you but go to settings uh, but go to settings and scroll down to storage here we go 
and it will break down everything and it'll give you recommendations. Now these recommendations can save you a ton of space here as you guys can see. If I delete my recently deleted, I save 100 or 1.96 gigabytes. And if I turn on iCloud Photo Library, I can save almost five gigs. And that's a ton of space here. And it's just awesome that Apple does give us this that we can mess around with and use this to our advantage. So definitely, definitely be sure to use the uh, iPhone recommendations to save up storage here. Because if you're on an older iPhone, I'm sure that your storage is getting low and you always do need storage. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. We just wanted to bring you guys five to six easy, really quick tips that you guys can use on your iOS devices here. Um, if you guys like this video and want to see uh, part two, let us know. Signing off is Drake with Seminlock Phones YouTube channel. We we'll see you in the next one.